Next question is from Trey Thayer. There's a lot of skepticism about chiropractic therapy and its origins. What are your opinions and do you think it helps? It's a lot like any other profession, I feel like, right? There's mm. there's examples of really bad ones and then there's examples of like really good ones. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's like trainers. There's phenomenal trainers out there that are brilliant and doing great work and then there's a lot of shit butts um i think that's, that's true in in the in <laughs> that's this one of my favorite terms that's it's it's this it's true in this 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 field also there's uh and i used to by the way i i, I hated chiropractors so for our, and that's again that was my experience right the first 10 that i experienced as a trainer were all really shitty like i'd say like nine out of ten of them were really shitty one of them was like okay and so I had like a bad taste in my mouth for chiropractors. I used to, in my presentation, when I was selling personal training to people, I used to love to get somebody who saw a chiropractor because I would shit on them completely. And so I had that attitude for a really long time. It wasn't until Dr. Brink and Jordan Shallow did that completely become a panty dropper for me. So it Damn. was, it was, yeah. It's sick and dark. Yeah. 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 I can't do it. I can't do about making it work. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make it work. I so. feel responsible for this. It was, no, it was a game changer. They were, both of them were. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, they're two of the uh, most brilliant men that I've met in this field and uh, have both have blown my mind uh, completely. And so I, it, and because of that experience from them, it's opened my eyes to it. And there's guys like the Move You guys. I love those guys. They're chiropractors. Mm -hmm. you, you know uh, where, the, the, where the, the skepticism comes from? It, it's, it comes from the, so, and this is, this is a problem in a lot of fields. What some chiropractic methods uh, were teaching was that, okay, the central nervous system controls everything in your body. That's correct. The spine uh, houses, obviously, the spinal cord. And through the spinal cord, your central nervous system communicates to the whole body. Central nervous system communicates your breathing and your – it could affect the hormones and it could affect how you think and it can affect the immune system. All of this is true. But then they took this massive leap mm -hmm. and said that lining up your bo body and your spine – then can cure all the problems since right. everything comes like diseases and, yeah, and yeah, colds yeah, and everything else. Yeah, since everything comes from the central nervous system and the central nervous system affects everything, mm -hmm. therefore aligning. Yeah, they made a massive jump. Massive jump, and then of course there's a lot. That's that's just not uh, true. Well, that's how you know. Okay, so a good way to tell if you have got a shitty chiropractor or a good one, and this was like my experience with uh, Brink was, you know, many chiropractors will they'll do an assessment on you. And whether it be they have like the, the new digital ones that take like a photo of you and then they tell you, oh, you have your shoulder elevated here, you're rounded here. And then they throw you on the table and they just crack you into place. Like then you have a shitty yeah, chiropractor. Crack them and crack them. That, that's all they do. Because all that, all, if they do that, sure, they may give you temporary relief, but they're not fixing you. You're going to have to come back forever and they're setting you up to where- They're not fixing why your body was it, being exactly. held that way. And a good chiropractor- may not even use his table to adjust you ever and is going to make you walk and move and squat and get down on the floor and explain to you what's what's broken or what's going wrong with your body, what movements, what exercises that you need to do to fix the root cause that's causing whatever issues, whether it be chronic pain or bad movement patterns. And that is like what a good, a good chiropractor will do versus you know, take a picture of you, break you down, tell you how dysfunctional you are, lay you down, crack you, and go see how good you feel. Come mm -hmm. back, see me next week on Tuesday. I'll make sure you feel good again. And then you get stuck in this cycle of I got to see a chiropractor. You keep patching holes. Yeah, you're not yeah. you're not addressing the root cause. All you do is putting a band. -aid no, a good chiropractor is a movement specialist. Yeah, uh, that not an adjustment specialist. Now there is a place for adjustments, uh, and you know I've heard it explained a lot of different crazy ways. But the best chiropractors I've worked with explained it very, very well. And really, it's about articulating joints in the body that may be, quote unquote, stuck because the muscles around them are so tight. So it's like you have a tight muscle anywhere on your body. If you stretch it or move it, it starts, it relaxes and allows it to, and then it starts to feel better. Well, there are small joints in the body, in the spine, where the rib cage attaches in the hips where something might be so difficult and stuck that traditional stretches just don't articulate it. And so it requires somebody to come and manually yeah. cause, yeah, they need do to an intervene. Adjustment. Right? Yes. Yeah. But I mean, I think that's really the, 
uh, where I see value in it is when you've already gone through the work of, you know, muscular wise, training wise, uh, you're trying to get uh, into better alignment and it's just not there yet. And maybe now you might look into subluxation or whatever technique they're going to use to try and help to get you back because you do feel a lot better once you're in good alignment and your joints are functioning mm -hmm. uh, the way that they're supposed well, to. Well, I, I think I feel like it's a similar thing to how we talk about you know, foam rolling or the, or the, the therapy guns. Like all these things give you temporary relief. So if you use those tools to then go do the movements that you need to do to yes. address the issue, then it's a good thing. So if you go and you see a chiropractor, he adjusts you, realigns you to make you feel better. So then you go do the exercises that you need to do to correct the problem. Mm -hmm. Then I, I see value in it. But one of the things that I would see with the, a lot of the chiropractors I worked with as a trainer early, well before Brink and Shallow, is they didn't give any corrective exercises. They had just adjusted. Mm -hmm. That's all they did was it just adjusted to fix the person and made them feel better for the day or for a few days before they'd come back. They weren't they weren't explaining to them what was going on with their body. I was having to do that as a trainer and saying, listen, but all you, the, all they're doing is cracking you back into place. You feel good, but then your muscles are pulling you back into the, the bad position. You see the same thing from, you know, Western medicine, like with, uh, you know, doctors, they're, they're prescribing you pills to make you feel better, but there's no real protocol yeah. of, you know, maybe we should like, you know, change up our diet. Maybe we should get this type of exercise. Maybe like, there's no plan. It's just like, I can make you feel better right now. Yeah, and so they followed a similar business model, I feel. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you have uh, acid reflux. Here's a pill that will per that make you feel better, but never talking about the root cause right. of acid reflux. Oh, you get headaches all the time. Here's this pill to help you with your headaches, but we'll never figure out you know, the root cause. There's also a lot of business models that uh, surround the chiropractic industry that are designed to maximize a chiropractor's revenue. And I think this also has, for lack of a better term, poisoned the industry, right? So you'll see chiropractors who utilize these models. Don't remember the names of these models, but they'll say, okay, here's a great way to make a lot of money as a chiropractor. You have you know, 10 people show up at the same time and they're all on different beds and you go and adjust this one over here, adjust this one over here. It's like a factory. Yes. Yeah. And it's, these are these business models. No joke, uh, in the health space, the chiropractic industry probably has more of these get rich quick in your chiropractic business type schemes than almost any that I can think of. Well, because and they, this causes problems. Well, because they can give immediate relief and feel better. Yeah. It's it's one of those tangible things, right? Like you walk in, someone has got low back pain because they're all out of alignment, right? And you have someone crack them into place and it's like, oh my God, that feels so much better. It's like, all I had to do is do that in five minutes. So they set them in these 15 minute increments. Yep. So you've got clients coming in and out. Like you can't, I mean, you, you know what it's like to train somebody and help them with an issue. Like it don't take no 15 minutes. No. Mm -hmm. It takes me 15 minutes just explain what's going on with them, and that takes me another fifteen to twenty minutes to do to do the exercises to fix the. It issue. would be the equivalent of a trainer having six clients and like hey, you're doing a bench press, you're doing a row, totally. you're doing it, and then you show them and you walk away. And, oh, I get to train yeah, you five show people. them, but there's no instruction after. Exactly. That. No, yeah. a good chiropractor. I'm gonna say this again: is a movement specialist. If you find a chiropractor that understands correctional exercise and teaches you how to prevent yourself from hurting in the first place, you found a good one. If you have a chiropractor that just provides relief and then schedule you for your next appointment, uh, then you have one that uh, doesn't have tons of value.